I'm happy with how it looks. Hopefully, he's got a crazy transformation. Hopefully. He just devalued it. He fucking just devalued it. How is it going, guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. Today, we're back at it. Ooh, just looking at some cringe today. We are taking a look at Car TikTok Cringe's page. He just compiles just like some of the most banger cringe clips out there and just like just just every single one is just like that's why i don't like tiktok car scene that's why i'm not on tiktok i do have a tiktok to look at memes but nothing else i will not post on there yeah check them out uh not a sponsored video actually it is never mind i i'm not sponsored by him it is sponsored by timu more on that in a bit Anyways, let's go ahead and just dive into some cringe. All right, here you go. This is your sign to redo your interior. Oh boy, can't wait for this Honda Accord to fuck shit up. Instantly busts out the fucking rattle can. Instantly, just fucking straight to the rattle can. Yep, redo it with the rattle can. That's how they do it. Oh my god. The this has got to be a troll, right? The fucking buttons, the radio, everything, the screen in here, the, everything in here is rattle can. This has got to be a troll, right? He doesn't even have a fucking gear selector in there. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a, that's some hot garbage. You know how just the fumes in there on a hot sunny day. Would you rather have the smell of spray paint to where you, you're pretty much intoxicated because you got all these fumes going through your head or just like sweaty balls? Which one would you rather choose, fumes or sweaty balls? I'm choosing sweaty balls, no homo. Um, nothing against the, if you're into that kind of stuff, but personally, you're not going to lose brain cells inhaling sweaty. Where, where did this tangent come from? What am I even saying? To my, bad idea. Cringe. Zero. Uh, ten out of ten. Don't, don't do that. Bad idea. Maybe all the paint fumes have gone to his head. Horrible idea. Just don't do that. This video is sponsored by Timu. I'm sure you guys have all heard of Timu by now. They sell great products for dirt cheap. And they sell literally a little bit of everything. Today I'm going to show you what I got from Timu. I specifically went for stuff obviously oriented around cars and tools and stuff like that and we got some good stuff look at all this stuff i got on timu we have a little bit of everything that you need just to work on cars we have detailing products we have tools we have test lights we have those pesky annoying clips that you always break on your car well now i never have to worry about that again with this huge pack of just about every style clip out there it also came with a bunch of tools to easily remove them so i don't bust them with a flathead every time we also have tools that i just didn't have we have tools that will help me solder oh my god i wish i had these when i was doing the harness on the supra it holds them in place that way i could just easily solder them without them moving luckily i have them now we have a c-clip removal tool that i've already used a couple of times we have a test light we have rubber protectors for our car when using jacks and jack stands as you can see i've been putting this one through the ringer and it's just a little dirty but it works great fits great on the jack super secure love it and this will protect my pinch welts now i liked the security camera that i got last time from them so much that i got another one i mean for the price you just can't beat it i could see a live view of my cars right now and it's nighttime out and the quality is still great i got a set of picks and hooks as you can see i've opened them because they've already come in clutch before all of this was stuff that was just so cheap i couldn't pass up we got a detailing brush set for drills and carpets. That way, I could keep my carpets nice and clean. And I don't know about you, but I hate when stuff is leaking. A set of crush washers will definitely save my life in the future. And lastly, we can't forget, it's really annoying to clean your windshield and make sure that it's spotless, especially in those hard to reach areas. This one's way worse. This will make it so much easier to get into the little nooks and crannies where my fat little hand just won't fit. And then I couldn't pass up on some of their less than a dollar purchases. Shocking gum, a rubber chicken lanyard, double-sided tape, magnets, and a phone holder, all for less than a dollar each. I mean, I couldn't pass up on those. All of this stuff at other stores would have costed me way more where using Timu, I saved a lot of money and the products just work great. Like I said, I was so impressed with the camera last time that I knew I had to get another one. Now I can make sure that my cars are nice and safe outside while I'm sleeping cozy in my bed. So guys, click the link down below. That way you guys can start saving money and keep buying car parts. Big thank you to Timu for sponsoring this video. Anyways, let's get back to it. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> ew, he drives a 23-year-old Mitsubishi. There's some good options. There's some good options. Let's see what the Mitsubishi is. Something sick. The Mitsubishi. God, this guy really is... This guy's really coming out of fucking 7-Eleven after pumping 87, fucking getting the TikTok clips with, with his fucking phone. He's, he's, really, he's really doing this while walking out of 7-Eleven? Come on, man. Jesus Christ. He's really doing that. Really getting the clips. I can't with people, man. I can't with people. I don't even record my cars like that. No, no, no. I don't even record my cars like that. Bone stock underneath the fucking hood. Bone stock exterior, too. This thing is fresh off the fucking lot. Fresh off the fucking lot. Jeez. God, such a hairdresser car, too. Such a hairdresser car. Ugh, painful. Painful, painful, painful. Yeah, yeah, mm, Moving on. I'd rather walk. This is already just a bad image. Like, if I ever ordered an Uber and this motherfucker pulls up, hell, DoorDash, I ain't taking the food. I don't know what he did to it. I ain't taking it. I ain't taking the food. And my last name blips, so I'm picking the tool up. Yeah, it's not hard. Like, not only is it a Prius, but like, you, you did the whole fucking rap thing. Okay, this pop filter is kind of fucked. It doesn't really stay. It kind of rests on the mic. Whatever. <sighs> That's what I get for being an asshole. Yeah. Oh, the car scene sucks, dude. I hate the car scene. I am just, I do not like the car scene. I do not like it. If this is popular in the car scene, I do not like it. I am, I'm not a fan of the car scene. God, this car is such ass. Everything about it is just hot ass. Not, I'm not referring to the character. And potentially, hopefully she's of age and her... Never mind. Just, just I don't even want to go there. Alright. Oh, fuck. Like, they're all just getting me angry. Every single post is just getting me angry. Is that normal? Do I need to see a therapist? I don't know. Let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, I'm happy with how it looks. You're happy with that? You wake up, walk outside, and you look at that and you say, I'm happy? I'm not trying to like shame nobody. You know, we all started somewhere. Like I, I'm not, I'm not rich. No matter what you think, I'm not rich. You guys probably have more money than me. I'm not rich. So it's not like I'm like, oh, look at me. I got fucking money. I got wealth. No, no, no. Me at the age of 18 would see this shit and be like, God damn, I drive a fucking shit box. Let's take a look at this fucking thing. I'm happy with how it looks. Hopefully he's got a crazy transformation. Hopefully I got the AC on and I'm sweating in here. He just devalued it. He fucking just devalued it. He li he literally had something that he probably could have sold in today's market for like five to seven thousand dollars because the market is just crazy right now. But instead, he just devalued it. He put on Scion TC wheels as if that's any better than what he had. Destroyed his fender. Destroyed his license plate. Took off a lot of the goofy shit. Um, but just like just ruined it. He just absolutely ruined it. This thing probably sounds like dog water It looks like dog water. It looks like a fucking salvage title now before at least it was like hey, okay You know <laughs> that thing probably gets killer gas mileage and it looks comfy to cruise around in now It just looks like every other fucking shitbox on TikTok. God damn it, man Not to the poor Corolla either the Corolla just wishes it was her your grandmother's car like instead It got you though fucking sir what call hanging out of the front bumper. Did he at least get rid of that? He doesn't show it. Oh, uh, at least he got rid of that at least he got rid of that thumbs up for that the rest of the car is still ass though uh, Moving on. Okay. Okay. Okay next batch of cringe I love how we just upload some in a batch so you just scroll through and just get angrier and angrier All right next one Elantra's do not look aggressive from the old man. I, I would say that's that's a pretty accurate statement. They don't look aggressive. I've never once seen an Elantra and been like, I'm afraid to race that guy. Oh, gee willikers, you know, that guy, that guy might be carrying a strap. I'm never once, never once, you know, never. I don't even think I've ever noticed an Elantra while driving, honestly. I'm not looking for him. Regular traffic, regular traffic, don't care. Regular fucking traffic. This dude pulled into a back alley to fucking stalk some people and decided to film a TikTok of his Elantra. Even if it's an Elantra N, don't care. Nobody cares, nobody cares. Let's, let, let's just, for, for fucking shits and giggles, let's just Google the specs of an Elantra N. I already know there's gonna be some people, there's more to cars than just horsepower, Drew. Yes, there is, but the horsepower is a big, big feat, a big part of having a sports car is how much power does it make? doesn't even fucking say it doesn't even say i type in specs and that's how you know it's a dog shit ass car doesn't even say on google right away i gotta click on hyundai usa to learn 
276 horsepower. Congratulations. You're as fast as a New Edge Mustang GT. Congratulations. 289 torque. 9 to 5 compression. Hey, same as the Supra. Must be it must be the same as my Supra. Must be just as fast. I'll give I'll give Hyundai credit where credit is due. It looks 10 times better than older Elantras. So whatever, you could take a cookie when you can get it, I guess. A relationship where she drives and you shift. Okay. I mean, I've had my girlfriend shift while I'm driving, you know, and in a Supra, since I'm on the right side, it's completely natural for her to shift, you know? It doesn't feel weird at all. I've done it. Let's see. It's a fucking automatic. Why? Why? Why are? Oh my god! Why are you even shifting? It's an automatic. Just let the car shift. But dude, if, if my girl was in my car, driving aggressive, where's her other hand? First of all, she has paddles. She could just shift. What? What? She could just shift. She could just. She could just do it right there. Does she not have a left arm? That would be a good excuse. That would be a great excuse. You know what? Everything I'm saying right now would be taken back if I find out that she's an amputee. 100%. 100%. But where's her other arm? Okay. Who the fuck drives at 2 o'clock? What is she, like this? Cruising around town? Looking for some... Looking for some what? Some criminals? What is she doing? Doesn't make any sense. She's going 30... How fast is she accelerating? I mean, she's accelerating. I mean, I guess you can call it an acceleration. But, yeah, I... Uh... I wouldn't let my girl drive unless she's fucking nine and three. Fucking nine and three. I, I guess my cars are a little bit faster than this, but still, still, just common fucking sense. If you don't want to die, that's that's cringe. That's ten out of ten cringe right there. Everything about this is just wrong. Uh, all right, oh, let's see this one. Option one. That's pretty bad. Option two. Oh, you chose that. You really, you really chose that. You really chose that. You. You really chose that? Okay, so we got the 328i and then the fucking wide body RT or maybe it's a V6. I don't care either way though. It's fucking 10 times better. You got the fake hood scoop on this piece of shit. Look at this thing. This thing is just straight ass. Straight ass. Holy shit. Bone stock underneath the hood? Hey, hey buddy. Why don't you show me where that fucking hood scoop leads? Why don't you show me where that hood scoop leads? Huh? Leads nowhere. Leads fucking nowhere. That's what I thought. Oh, you got neon underglow. Oh, look at him whipping around town with the whole fucking Christmas tree lit up on his dash. Oh, my God. Got fucking Starlight headliner. Oh, Should have chose that. I don't care if it's a V6. I don't care if it's fucking motorless. Choose that. I don't even... I'm not even a huge fan of Mopar. Like, I think the wide-body Hellcat is a great-looking car. I, however, would not buy one because compared to other cars for similar price points, I would put myself at a disadvantage when roll racing. It's a heavier vehicle, not a fan of it. Looks great, I love that, and it makes pretty good power. But power to weight's very important. People are fucking just, mm, make bad decisions every day. Well, paint me orange, what's this thing? Uh, it doesn't say anything, it's Dodge Avenger. Okay, you got the little Iron Man guy on there, whatever, I guess that fits. Superheroes are popular right now, go for it. And call me Nemo because I'ma touch the butt. Was that a cold start? Was that your car turning on? That that's what you filmed right there. Wow. Well, that was show off all the peeling paint too. Yeah, it looks great. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love all the paint peeling off the hood. Kind of tried to hide it, but it was it was pretty obvious. Here, let's hear that cold start one more time. Sounds crazy. It's a crazy machine right there. Might be too much car for you, buddy. Just be careful. Don't don't want the cops to get you now. I want the cops to get you. All right, that one's not as bad. That's one of the least cringy posts so far. All right, let's see this one. In a world full of Jettas and Civics. Honestly, I think today I went cruising in the Mustang and I think today I've seen the most Camrys, like brand new Camrys than I've ever seen. Every other car on the road was a fucking Toyota Camry. So Camry needs to be on this list. It's just a world full of Camrys, honestly. Nothing wrong with the car. It's a great daily driver, but I feel like I see 10 of them for every I don't even. See, I didn't see one sports car today. I drove for like two hours. Didn't see one sports car. Whatever. You didn't choose to be different. You you didn't choose to be different. This is what you could afford, or this is what was handed down to you by mommy and daddy. That's like the only explanation for people like 
modifying or trying to be in the car scene with these random cars trying to be different i'm just different i'm just a different guy you know i just <laughs> i i put in my milk first and then my cereal i'm just different that's like the only reason i can actually think of is like these people get a hand-me-down from mommy and daddy which is fine i have no no problem with it but just use it as a fucking daily driver you don't need to choose to be different with every fucking car out there man it's a fucking hyundai elantra nobody at the car meet is stopping to take photos of the hyundai elantra so stop trying to make it something it's not it's just the harsh reality of it i'm not here trying to be a bully when i'm just spitting facts nobody especially me and most of you guys are gonna say huh, there's a hellcat huh, there's a mustang gt on beadlocks a fucking hyundai elantra shit i gotta make a tiktok out of this supercar spotter nobody is gonna fucking nobody's gonna do that i'm sorry reality might hurt sometimes but i'd rather live a harsh truth than a comfortable lie um i don't know if that's how the saying goes but let's move on what's this you think you can hurt me i don't even celebrate my own i'm guessing it says birthday that was the clip that was the clip was it was him was him trying to park his goddamn celica you're not special. I don't celebrate my own birthday either. But I also don't post cringy fucking TikToks and shit, you know? So we're, we're very different there. We're very different there. Great clip, though. I, I'm, I'm super happy your friend recorded you parking your fucking Celica. And uh, it was a good five-second clip. Great, great, great content. I love TikTok. I fucking love it. Okay, what's this one? That's just a meme. All right. Um, I, I don't know if this one was in a video already. I know I saved it myself, but... Since it's in car TikTok cringe, I'll just look at it here because this is just golden right here. I love this one. Keeping it stock was cool. Never keep a stock car. You're lame if your car is stock. Let's see. Dude had the glow up of the century. Oh my God. No longer stock, bitches. Oh, you don't know a race car when you've seen one. We got the grill delete and the halo headlights oh my god she's one mean machine right there gained a total 20 horsepower look at that bad boy yeah man she's completely not stock anymore oh and the weather guards gotta have those did it have them in the first clip does he even show them ah, it's a mystery no he didn't have them oh so he went three for three with mods we got the grill delete we got the halo headlights and the weather guards this dude's more built than me my fucking my, my goddamn mclaren doesn't even have weather guards jesus man this guy be it doesn't even have aftermarket headlights either oh my god oh my god it still has its front grill too oh he's beating me god my car is more stock than him fuck <laughs> yeah people are stupid <laughs> oh it's so cringy god damn that's so cringy why would you post that dude like you already know all of the comments are gonna say um <laughs> it's still fucking stock it's still stock it's still stock i don't care if you wrapped it too it would still be stock don't care oh he kind of did wrap it i just noticed it. he put the little blackout uh piece on the front bumper sick yeah Thumbs up, man. Love it. Love the build. Can't wait to see what you do next year. What's this piece of shit? God, I hate these fucking TikToks. Oh, yeah, this guy's already been in a video. This dude's just fucking Ulton cringe lord right here. Anime stickers, neon underglow, the Kia Soul, three fucking tow hooks up front. One tow hook, I'm sure, in the back. I'm sure we'll see one right now. Let's see. Oh, it's Surikawa. You should take off one of your toe hooks up front and put it on the back because you, you don't have any rear towing now, you know? You can't can't get towed out of a ditch after a nice canyon run. Oh, God, I hate the car scene. All right, um, I might end it here just because I feel like this video is probably already pretty long and um, I don't have... I mean, you know, we'll do one more. Yeah, hopefully there's another slide. Here we go. My car might be slow, but at least I don't look like regular traffic. What car is he talking about here? Where's the Where's the car? Where's the car? I only see regular traffic. I see a Malibu. I see a fucking base model V6 Charger and uh, a truck. Where's it? What? Uh, the car must be behind it. He probably has like a Cobra kit car sitting perfectly behind this Charger. So we can't see it. You know, it makes sense. Um, yeah, the V6. I don't care if it's a GT V6. It's still a V6. I don't care if it's an RT. Hell, even a scat. I'm going to consider a scat regular traffic just because I see more scats than Mustang GTs. I would probably consider Mustang GT regular traffic too. So, you know, don't be too mad at me, Mopar boys. 
Yeah, that looks like regular fucking traffic to me. It looks like you still got the warranty in place. That's regular fucking traffic. You, you didn't even put any lame stickers on it yet. That's that's regular traffic. At least put a lame sticker or some L- LGBTQ headlights. That would make it not regular traffic because you would stand out a little bit. This shit, I fucking wouldn't even bat an eye at it. Wouldn't even bat an eye. You know, I would probably get a little erect seeing it pull up thinking, oh, I got a Hellcat I'm about to eat right now. I'm about to eat this kitty up. Mm-mm-mm-mm, love it. Why was I about to do that? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, and then I would be instantly disappointed um, that it's not. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I got to end it there because that was sus, Drew. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'm sweating my balls off in here. I just want to give a big thank you to Timu for sponsoring this video. Till next video, guys. See ya.